So in Sridhar Prabhupada's uh, passport, his original passport, when he first came um, from India to the West, there were certain details, there was certain information, like in every passport, that you have to fill out. And uh, when it asked uh, the question, what is your occupation, Prabhupada said, servant of uh, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. <laughs> That's the occupation. And the next line was, <clears throat> what is your home address? And he wrote Vrindavan, UP, uh, India. So we are followers of Sridhar Prabhupada. He's the founder acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. He's the acharya, one who teaches by his um, deeds and by his words. He's our eternal spiritual father. So we want to be like father, like son, and like uh, daughters, um, following in Sridhar Prabhupada's footsteps. So he came to the West to bring us back to the East. There's that saying in America, in the old days, in the pioneer days, go west, young man, for your material fortune. Well, we've turned our back on that, more or less, and um, we, we've, we've come east. We've come to India, to Bharat. One of the original names of India was Bharat, and one translation of Bharat is light. So light in the sense of um, being enlightened by transcendental knowledge, coming from um, our beloved spiritual master, Sri Prabhupada. So, as Prabhupada went to the West, um, he came back to India. At one point, um, he came back to India to revive uh, Vedic culture, more specifically um, Krishna consciousness in, in this country. And um, he considered that Vrindavan was like his home. So we also think like that. So we've come back <laughs> from the West also. After three months of preaching, we had our festival of India in, uh, in Poland. It was uh, extremely successful. Tens of tens of thousands of people were introduced to Krishna consciousness. We continued on a little bit afterwards, visiting different yatras in Europe. But um, we've come back home to consider Vrindavan our home. Um, all devotees should consider Vrindavan their home. We should feel more comfortable here than anywhere else in the world. Of course, it takes time. That's the process of Krishna consciousness. Uh, we become purified of all unwanted things in the heart, all unwanted attachments, identities. I'm American, I'm Russian, I'm German, I'm French, um, I'm Australian. Those are all material designations. We don't feel comfortable with those designations, actually. So we have to learn to become Brajabhasis. We have to practice becoming Brajabhasis. Because when we go back to the spiritual world, we'll be eternally Brajabhasis so as quickly as possible. So it's good to come to Vrindavan, if possible, from time to time. Everything done here, um, it's, it's extremely purifying and uplifting, devotionally uplifting. So I consider it my great fortune as a sannyasi to be able to travel and uh, on my travels. Uh, of course, I travel in the order of my spiritual master. Prabhupada said to me, preach boldly and have faith in the holy names. But uh, like a magnet, I always come back to Braj because this is the lap of Krishna. Uh, Prabhupada also described at one time, Vrindavan is the, the playground of God. So we come here and we get accustomed to being uh, Brajabhasis. We're not foreigners. No one is a foreigner to Krishna consciousness, like George Harrison said one time. Everyone's a devotee of Krishna. Some know it and some don't. So by Prabhupada's grace, we know that and we're trying to gradually become purified and develop that mentality that I'm a, I'm a Brajabhasi. And uh, so we've come back after many months of preaching and it's very comforting. You know, isn't it? There's that saying, home is where the heart is. So after many, many years, I'm beginning to understand this is where my heart is, Vrindavan. I have a Western body, but I have, a, as a spirit soul, by Prabhupada's grace, I'm realizing I'm an eternal resident of Vrindavan. So today, for the first time, we came back and got over the jet lag. And uh, for the first uh, time, we're, uh, we're, we're going out on uh, Vrindavan Parikrama, the, the Parikrama Marg around Vrindavan, uh, keeping everything to our right. And um, it's very purifying to do Parikrama. Uh, we're doing Parikrama of all the temples, the thousands of temples and the 
seven uh, most prominent temples. We're, we're doing a parikama of all the samadhis of great saints. We're doing parikama um, of all, many aspiring sadhus as well. We're doing parikama of cows. <laughs> Everything is Krishna conscious here if, if we see it through Prabhupada's eyes. So, and we're doing parikama in the, in the dust of Vrindavan. Every particle of dust here is more opulent than all the opulence of Vaikuntha. These things we're learning. We're learning and gradually, gradually, because this process works, we're beginning to realize these things. And that's the beauty of old age. <laughs> and no one looks forward to old age, but old age in Krishna consciousness means that after many years of service, um, the gyan becomes vegan, it becomes realized, and that's sweeter than the sweetest. And as we walk around uh, Vrindavan Dham now, we're um, continuing to open our eyes through the process of um, chanting the holy names of Krishna. And that's what you do here. You chant Hare Krishna, you hear Krishna Kata, you take the Mahaprasad of the deities, you associate with the sadhus. Um, we do all these things and, and in our heart of hearts, that's an expression, right? In our heart of hearts, we go before Sridhar Prabhupada at a Krishna Balaram Mandir, the temple that he constructed from his heart. And um, we come before Sridhar Prabhupada in his Samadhi Mandir. As members of ISKCON, we consider that the most holy place uh, in creation. The most holy place in creation because Sridhar Prabhupada is our ever well-wisher. And we go there and we often make reports about our preaching in the West. We won't be here, uh, you know, We'd like to be here a long, long time, but uh, we have our duties in different parts of the world. So as it's often said, we come here to get refreshed. But in old age, we stay a little bit longer <laughs> just to make sure that by the time we leave these bodies, um, we'll be chanting Hare Krishna and Krishna will be in our mind and Prabhupada will come and take us back to the spiritual world. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're on Parikama and we're enjoying it every step of the way. It's like, um, as they say, in the spiritual world, Brahma Samhita says, every step is a dance, every word is a song, and there's a festival every day. It's a, we're out here in a very festive mood, celebrating um, the, the glories of Radha and Krishna. So we'll be doing this for um, a few weeks. We, many devotees will join us soon for the uh, Kartik Parikama. We'll be going out and visiting all the major uh, Leelistans and also the minor ones. This year our theme will be visiting the places that are not often visited. And um, it, it'll be wonderful to receive all the devotees, to serve them by introducing them to Krishna consciousness. We'll, we'll be their guides in the sense that we're just repeating what Prabhupada has told us. And um, we'll be looking forward to that seva. When we come to Vrindavan, we come here to do seva, to do service. So please stay with us. Um, all glories to Sri Prabhupada, the revealer of the Dham. All glories to Vrindavan Parikama. All glories to um, the month of upcoming month of Karti. Gaur Premanandi, J.J. Sisi Radhe Shyam. Hare Krishna.